of English, working in Vivekananda College of Arts and Sciences for Women, Autonomous, Eliyampane. So in this video presentation, I am going to uh, explain or I am going to share my ideas about a famous poem, uh, Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. So most of us have uh, read, might have been uh, read this poem, most of us might have been impressed by the usage of language of the author, most of us might have been impressed by the uh, theme or uh, uh, what to say, uh, what is the exact point the poetry is uh, trying to uh, tell us. So it is a very famous poem, okay, without any delay, let's see the author introduction. So Maya Angelou is a poet, educator, author, playwright, activist, historian, producer, actor, director and what not. Uh, she is a multifaceted person. Uh, starting from writing, she is uh, familiar in uh, politics, uh, she is familiar in uh, uh, television, she is familiar in uh, directions also. And she was born on April 4, 1928 and died on May 28, 2014. Uh, she is an American memoirist, poet and civil rights activist. Uh, throughout, his throughout her life, she has completed seven autobiographies, three books of essays, several books of poetry and is credited with a list of plays, movies and television shows, etc. So, writing a single autobiography is a big thing, big task. But she has completed seven autobiographies, three books of essays and several books of poetry. And not only writing it, rather she has uh, uh, tried, her, uh, tried her hands in plays, movies and television shows also. So we all know Shakespeare is a poet laureate, William Wordsworth is a poet laureate. But this lady that is Maya Angelou is called the black woman's poet laureate. So how, uh, how to say, how honorable she is. So she was awarded with Pulitzer Prize for her uh, just give me a cool drink of water before I die. Just look at the usage of spelling, how, how, to cho uh, how uh, she chosen to write die and before and all. And uh, she was nominated, nominated for Tony Award for her role in 1973's play uh, Look Away. So this was a play that was uh, directed and acted by uh, Maya Angelou in the year of 1973. And she, apart from these two prizes, she got three Grammy Award for her spoken word albums. And uh, it is a selected quote from Maya Angelou's work. A bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. So here Maya Angelou is trying to tell, we all think the, ba the bird has an answer so that it is singing. No, it is just enjoying its voice. It is just enjoying its songs. That is what Maya Angelou tries to tell. It is, uh, it is singing not because it has an answer. Rather it sings because it has a song. And uh, when you are getting into the poetry, uh, so here, uh, to sum to sum up what is there in the poetry, here there is a bird that is caged inside. So we all know it is a caged bird, it could not uh, go beyond the limit, it could not see beyond the boundaries. Uh, there will be only limited activities such like uh, eating, sleeping, fluttering its wings or otherwise hopping here and there. So these are all the usual things which a caged bird will usually do. But here is a bird, it is going here and there, just seeing through the bars of the cage and at last, one particular point of time, it is just irritated, it is just bored with the actions. So what the bird's, uh, bird is going to do is, it starts to sing, it opens his throat to sing. So uh, when it is started to sing, it is uh, scared. So the sca in a scared tone, it started singing, but later on, it used to it and sings loudly and sings loudly for freedom and it is spreading hope and love towards the society. So that is the exact gist of this poem. So the meaning of this poem is that although cages might keep one from physically reaching their goals, above all, one always has a voice to use their advantage. So through this poem, Maya Angelou is trying to tell us 
even though you are physically restricted even though you are physically uh, just tied up with the post or something like that uh, even though you are uh, tied up with your uh, uh, responsibilities no don't take that as an ex excuse rather you can use your voice to give your uh, give your state or just explain your plight open your mouth and voice it out what is your problem if you are telling your problem out definitely you will be finding a solution also for that particular problem so no matter how much one may be physically restrained they always have their voice to spread the message of hope and freedom so even though you are restricted with your responsibilities financial problems and there will be so many obstacles a man has to come out of it to enjoy their life to enjoy the hope to get freedom and all no it is not like that we people are just framing such a kind of structure so once you come out of your financial uh, problems you can enjoy your life no it is not like that once you are coming out of your responsibilities you can enjoy your life no it is not like that even though you are restrained physically even though you are restricted physically you can find a way where you can spread message of hope and freedom so the themes the major themes which we can find in this poem is freedom and slavery so how the bird was uh, uh, just caged inside is a reference to slavery and it is singing even though in slavery it chose to sing that is it chose it chooses uh, freedom uh, so that is what uh, positivity in negativity so such a kind of freedom and slavery theme is there fear and courage so when the bird starts singing it scared it got fear but later it 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 gained courage so it starts singing loudly so that is the theme of fear and courage adversity and good fortune so as i told you already we people think um, available that is existing factors will never make a man satisfied they always search for something which is not in their hand which is not in their uh, hold at all so we people think that we people are in always adversity so no it is not like that we people have good fortune even though it is caged it has its voice to sing and jubilate why not you even though you are restricted there will be some way how you can spread the love and hope to the others so that is what here we have the adversity and good fortune so so far i have just uh, uh, gisted up just gisted up and shared my idea about the poem i know why the cage bird sings thank you all